Hey there, Saints. Pastor Dave here with another weekly devotional for you. Hope you're doing well this Wednesday. I'm going to start today with a reading from Sarah Arthur's One Year Daily Grind. Um, And this devotional is about keeping the beat. She says, I confess this morning to weak faith and small mindedness and a recent return to that state in which I'm determined to do everything by my own power. Forget what God wants. I don't care. While these changes have been subtle, I know from experience that they lead to wretched results in the long run if I don't give in to God's desires. It's the difference between keeping in step with the Spirit, as it says in Galatians, or being half a measure off. I picture a marching band making its way down the street during a parade, followed by the fire engines and the Girl Scout troops and a whole host of floats. For the individual band members, keeping in step with the drum major and other band members is the sole concern of the moment. Left, 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 right, left. One foot in front of the other at the same measured pace as your neighbor, or disaster awaits. Half a step off is still out of step. And if you're out of step, it's worse for everyone than if you're not marching at all. It throws off the entire formation. I suppose the only thing even worse would be coming to a complete standstill and causing the whole parade to shudder to a halt as the result of your insolence. So I have a choice. I can keep in step with the Spirit and stay in formation with my fellow believers, or if I'm unwilling to do that, I'd better do the honest thing and step out of the parade altogether. None of this marching to the beat of a different drummer business in the human sense. Without the Holy Spirit, my drummer is nothing more than the beat of my own self-centered heart. So saints, that Devo caught my attention today because uh, we have so many band students in our youth program right now, at least I think half of them are in a marching band. So I've been to uh, a number of uh, band performances and, and competitions over the past couple of years. And I can say one thing that I have always noticed is how vigorously the drum major or the captain conducts the band. They, they are making big, you know, um, big, big, huge, uh, sharp movements as they conduct. And the reason, of course, is that they need to keep the whole band on the same time. They need to keep everybody uh, at the same pace, at the same beat throughout. And even though some of them might be closer, many of them are farther, you know, half a football field away. And so they need to be able to see the direction of the drum major. Uh, I, I remember being in high school choirs and college choirs where uh, our directors had kind of the same sensibility where, where everything they did was really crisp. It was really big. Uh, and you could really see where you were supposed to be. And I think that's very helpful to a group working like that, because as Sarah points out, you know, when one person gets off, everybody gets messed up. Everybody gets out of whack, uh, and it doesn't take long before the whole thing can, can just kind of grind to a halt, can, can start to sound nothing like what it's supposed to sound like. And she makes a really great comparison to the spiritual life, to the the life together in community that we have as church people, as Christians, that when we don't follow the same guidance, we don't follow the same lead, we don't follow the same spirit and keep in the same step, we very easily come to a place where we're messing each other up. We're making life harder for each other. And, and the whole thing together looks nothing like what it is supposed to look like. Um, C.S. Lewis had a, a very similar metaphor when he talked about how um, a, a group of Christians together function kind of like a, like a fleet of ships sailing together. And th- things can go wrong when one of the ships you know, has an equipment malfunction and, and can't sail in the way it's supposed to. But what really becomes a problem is when it starts veering off and crashing into the other ships and messing them up. We really have to consider, as we walk together as people of faith, what a responsibility we have toward each other. That the things that we do, the ways that we, we go off on our own, can really have a negative impact on the people around us. 
And I know in our culture, I mean, so, so often we prize innovation, we prize uniqueness, we prize people who are able to think differently and who march to the beat of their own drum. But what we're really going for in the church might not be exactly the same thing. What we need in the church is not just uh, faithfulness on the part of each one of us, it's faithfulness for the sake of all of us. So our individualism can sometimes be at odds with our desire for healthy community. Saints, where do you see that happening, maybe for your own self? Are there ways that you have sometimes struck off on your own, sought to, to accomplish things according to your own desires without enough uh, concern or, or thought given to how that impacted others. That's your devotional this week. I want you to think about it. I hope it's useful. I hope it's helpful. I hope it's worth uh, considering. And, and I hope it's something that helps you recognize your place in this community of faith a little bit more clearly and encourages you to walk a little bit more uh, in synchronicity with your brothers and sisters. Saints, that's your devotional for this week. Hope you're doing well, and I uh, will be praying for you. Please keep praying for me. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.